I expect big support for Dog, but Kranich really looking to strut his stuff here in, the, in his very first big appearance since BlizzCon. He's here in HPL. And look at the interesting hand that Dog has here. You know, we talked about what an innovator he was. He loves to put his own twist on decks. In the very first match, he's queuing up Shaman. We've already seen Loot Hoarder and Reincarnate in this build. Yeah, and Kranich is queuing up one of my favorite decks in Rogue. Rogue, a very powerful strategy. Anytime that you leave a minion on the board for Rogue, you're always at risk of having a big Tinker Sharp Sword Oil put out massive damage from your opponents. A very strong lead here for Dog, though. Turn one Zombie Chow is always something you want to see. Yeah, and so patient this game. You've seen him just to uh, tote him up every single turn, almost this entire game. So you have to believe that he's going to be pretty pa patient as well this turn and not just move all in. Yeah, so there come. Uh, I mean, the positive Shredder's coming down no matter what. That's protected as it is. And Nat Paggle is hitting the board ladies and gentlemen. Well, I've been wrong before and I'll be wrong again. It looks like he is actually just going to play yeah, everything. And look at that. He's pushing damage. 14 points with that Alec here. One more with the healing totem for good measure. Kranich in a massively defensive position. He and picks he up the, the blade, blade flurry. Oh my god. Look at that. The full 10 mana. This is going to be a massive turn for him. He's going to kill every single minion that Dog has, and it's up to the pilot Shredder to drop something good to make sure that Dog can continue to push for damage. Yeah, Kranich is at 7 here, so he's still kind of in a precarious situation, depending on what comes out of the Shredder here, but Dog only has a Hex left in his hand. There's the Blade Flurry cleaning up everything on the board. There's a 2-1 that's out of this, so not going to be able to take care of that is on the board, but that's still a minion. Blade Flurry could still be very deadly in a situation. I'm sorry, uh, the Tinker Sharp Sword can still be very deadly in a situation like this. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if he does this turn. He's going to start this turn out with a sprint, probably looking to pick up a prep here. If he picks up a prep, this could be a very big turn for Gets him. Gets an antique heal bot. Blade Flurry and Fan and Ive is going to be added to this hand, so enough to clear off Dog's minions. He's left with Reincarnate in his hand. Yeah, and that Fan and Ive was back breaking from Cranage there. It looks like he's going to be able to win this game next turn. Oh, Doom, Doom Hammer gets wow. picked up by Dog. It's not able to from a lot of people, uh, but I love this play from Dog. You, you know, it's his only way to win. You just have to hope and pray here. Yeah, I mean, always got to play to your outs on this, but Cranish actually almost had a cards here. Well, he's drawn 29 cards out of his deck so far, so that's going to do it. Again, Cranish 1-0 in the series, and we've seen a little bit of his player on here. Keys of Mystic and Rogue, not something you see every day. Yeah, it's something you see every day, especially against a player who's known for queuing up Druid a lot. It's very interesting to see why he had Kays on Mystic in his deck. We're probably going to have to ask him about that if he wins this uh, wins this round against yeah, Dog. certainly a question I would have for him if he uh, ends up picking up this. And exactly what you thought of Dog playing a Nat Paggle, and look at this. When you're down a game, go back to your roots. He's playing Druid here in the second game. And you know what? Since Dog is the Druid guy, he has to have Wild Growth in his opening hand, right? It's, it's just It just does it for him. It's, it's only fitting. That, it's only fitting. Yeah, we've yeah. seen both of our Druid games so far have Wild Growth in the opening hand, a very key card for him back up to 23, but at 9, 13, 14, 15, 22 points of damage available for Dog. He is one damage off lethal. Let's see if he can draw his way out of this. Let's see if he can get a kill this turn. Dog needs a very, very good draw here. Kranich is actually considering just dealing in the seven here while he can. Yeah, well, he's got that deadly poison hand. I think it's super important for him to get that. Blade Flurry is now a lethal draw. Eviscerates lethal it's draw. Savage, Savage Roar Lord. gets picked up from Dog, and he's going to tie this series at one game apiece. You know what? You go back to playing Druid, what you're known for, and you get rewarded with... Look at all of this damage this turn. <laughs> that is so much damage. This is exactly why Druid is so dangerous. It's very much in the same vein as Rogue. If you leave minions on the board going into those nine plus mana turns, you can get absolutely punished for it. You know, he picked up some extra cards this game too. He played Abjur Drake, played Ancient Allure, so he's digging pretty deep into his deck. trying to fiddle with it. Hey, not a problem, man. Congratulations on yeah. your first win here in Thanks. HPL. And we got some questions for you, and obviously, I'm sure you know we're going to ask about Reincarnate Shaman in Game 1 <laughs> with Nat Paggle. What inspired that deck build? <laughs> Look at that reaction. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I was the rogue. I was the rogue. I was the rogue. I wasn't, I wasn't the uh, Nat Paggle, dude. The what's that? I was the, uh, I was the rogue. I wasn't the shaman that game. Oh, you were the rogue ga deck that game. Okay. Yeah, I was the rogue. I queued rogue twice. Uh... First game was Rogue v Shaman. Second oh, okay, game was I'm sorry. Rogue we we v, had it uh, backwards. Uh, there. Druid. Oh, okay. So yeah. So, so okay. Then I guess the other question is now. Uh, one thing I want to know. I was a little disappointed. You only played Druid once in this matchup. All of your fans, everyone knows you're a big Druid innovator. What led you to only playing it once? Were you worried about getting targeted? Uh, I didn't. I didn't play Druid. I uh, I've only played Rogue and Patient. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, I didn't bring I didn't bring Druid because like uh, it has a lot of bad matchups, and it's just like 